workers could be fired for singing controversial struggle songs. This is what the Constitutional Court has heard in an argument that struggle songs could incite violence. Now here's the background. In 2013, nine employees from Duncan Mech in the Germiston, uh, east of Johannesburg, were fired for singing a song that included the words, my mother is rejoicing when we hit the Boers. Judgment, as my colleague Aaron Bates will tell us in just a moment, has been reserved. Aaron, good afternoon to you. Just back from the Constitutional Court. What exactly did the management of this company find offense? So Duncan Mech takes uh, issue with the use of the term Boer in the song and also the inciting or the they say incitement to violence in the language. So uh, the fact that parents mentioned in the song a mother and a father rejoice at the singer in the song uh, hitting the Boer or killing the Boer depends on the translation. And they say that language is uh, racist and it is offensive and they used it as grounds to dismiss these nine workers in 2013. That matter then went into arbitration and the Labour Court, both institutions of which did not uphold the choice and the decision of Duncan Mech management. Do we remember why the song was being sung in the first place? Well, this is exactly the question. So I asked NUMSA's spokesperson why exactly these workers were striking. They weren't 100% certain, but they said as far as they understand, it was over grievances regarding their wages, their working conditions and bonuses. Now, as far as Duncan Mech is concerned, there's this phrase that race neutrality should be imposed at a statutory level. Could you translate that for me? I wish I, I could. Uh, from what I can understand, it seems that they're saying if uh, it's uh, good for the goose, it should be good for the gander. So that uh, this language, uh, the term boer, which their lawyer argues doesn't just represent Afrikaans farmers per se, but all white people uh, in sort of general parlance in South Africa, that that term is uh, racist and therefore it should be outlawed. And using it during demonstrations over labor issues should be grounds for dismissal. That was pressed back by several of the justices in the Constitutional Court who asked about the context text of struggle songs, the history of labor dynamics between predominantly white employers and black employees, and the context of the singing during this unprotected strike, which was found to not have been violent. And some questions then about uh, the referral of all of this to arbitration. Yes, well, the, the thing about arbitration that came up is that uh, Duncan Mech's lawyers argued that the decision of the arbitrator was incorrect, that uh, the arbitrator found the song and its usage during the strike was offensive, but not necessarily racist, and that Duncan Mech was incorrect to dismiss the workers over singing the song. And so Duncan Mech is saying that was an incorrect decision and any other arbitrator would have found differently. That's being disputed by NOMSA and its lawyer, and it's something that the justices will have to decide. All right, Aaron Bates, thank you very much indeed. Now, the